This is a look at the Barnes & Noble look. Uh, we'll start out on the home screen down here. Uh, you, they have this thing called the Daily where they send out um, stuff each morning. It's just uh, stuff like gin and tonic day book. Also get your newspaper subscription sent out uh, automatically in the morning. They come with a 14 day free trial. Otherwise they're like 13, 14 bucks a month. The uh, font is generally pretty small on the newspapers. You scan through here. There's also the best way to go through the newspapers. Use the uh, go to option down here. And it lists all the different sections. You can uh, just click on here. It'll take you to the heading of that section from where you can view the different articles. You can scan down by pushing these buttons here and select which article you want to read. Take a look at this one. So it's pretty much set up. This looks just like the uh, Daily Editions version of the Wall Street Journal, just about. Daily Edition has a little more um, access with a touch screen at the bottom. You can do some more things, but. Um, so let's go ahead and change the font to a larger size here. It's a little easier to read in the newspaper. And there's all the different, uh, the five different font sizes. Let's go back to the home here. Uh, some other stuff with the daily are the daybook and gin and tonic sections. It's just a daily little articles they send to the nook each morning. Alright, let's go into something else here. So you can sort by uh, most recent. There's not a whole lot of options here. But uh, let's go into the library. And there's two different sections that's laid out by My Documents where you sideload all your documents and other ebooks. And it also has your BNN library. So there's essentially two sections. Being in library, you can view the covers for your books and newspapers and stuff like that, which is pretty neat. You can, uh, let's go over here. I'll show you some different options in the uh, ebook sections here. So this is a BNN classic Dracula. They also have a whole ton of uh, Google books you can download directly from the library, but they're not formatted that great. The meaning classes cost like a dollar in there. Formatted better. So here's a look at some of the different font sizes. Well, you have two different font types for PDB files. Um, EPUB files have three different font types. You can choose from here, and there's obviously the five different font sizes. For everybody that, uh, anybody that can't see very well, you can take it up a notch here to large. Um, one thing about the Nook, there is no landscape mode, so you got the portrait mode and you can't get any bigger than that. There's actually one more font size, extra large. I'll show you here, get through all of them. So it shows a little book cover down there on the left. On the uh, your side loaded documents, it's not going to have any cover. I mean, it shows the inside the book, but not outside the book like that. Page turn buttons are over here on the side. On each side, bottom one goes forward, the top one goes back. It would be kind of nice if you could invert them, but um, so far you can't. You can also turn pages by, when the screen turns off, you can set the screen to turn off every few seconds or so. Every 10, 30, and 60 seconds. And when it's off, you can turn pages by swiping across it too. So here's the other options in the BNN library report. You got a few search options and sort options. So let's go into my documents here and show you the other font type that's uh, available in EPUB. Soon Bar Barnes & Noble's will probably all be EPUB, so you probably have this option. So to add a bookmark, you just come in here, add bookmark. Easy as that. Um, other options are for the dictionary and dictionary function is pretty painful. You gotta scroll down. You can't hold down the button or anything, you just gotta go one at a time. It takes forever. It's really not very functional. They gotta find a way to make this just a little bit faster. 
some of my books, the dictionary won't work for some reason. I don't know. But this one, it seems to work fine. Pops up another page. Um, highlighting is pretty much the same sort of deal. To add a note, you have to highlight a word. So that goes hand in hand. For you just, you know, scroll down again. And to highlight, you push the start selection, and then it'll keep highlighting until you hit end. The cursor kind of disappeared here. There we go. And then after you add the highlight, you can add a note to the highlight. It's a, again, the note taking application is pretty weak. It's compared to the other ebook readers. They need to uh, get working on this thing, make it a little bit better. So what else we got here? Let's go in. I'll show you uh, a couple of PDF files. I tried some PDF files. It just doesn't really handle them very good. It supports them natively, but uh, the layout's really not that great. Um, reflowing obviously will rechange the layout and everything, but as uh, so this is this is a look at it reflowed and it's got just strange layout, but that's not too unusual. Most ebook readers will do that, but uh, you can go in here on all the text sizes it reflows it except for small. Small is the default size, so if you go in here and change it to small, it'll uh, show it what the PDF actually looks like for the most part. I don't know why, it always seems to push everything over to the left side for some reason, instead of just centering it, but uh, here's a look at a two-column PDF. It's even worse. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it for PDFs. It's good for ebooks. EPUB and Barnes & Nobles have some e-reader formats, PDB, but it just really doesn't uh, do much good for PDFs, even on reflow, because it just cuts things off, so unpredictably. See there's like lines sticking way out. And not as strong a suit. Alright, let's go take a look at the online store. It's uh, set up, it loads pretty quick and everything. The uh, main thing with it is there's just not very many sorting or filtering options at all. So it helps to know what you're looking for, that's for sure. So there's this one kind of trick you can do here. You can this also works on Barnes and Noble's website. If you type in a search for 0.00, .00 it'll bring back a list for all the free ebooks since there's not a section for that. Got to connect to the network. It has Wi-Fi and 3G. The 3G doesn't work very good here, so I got to set up to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi works blazing quick, pretty much. It's a lot faster than uh, you know 3G. I only get like one signal here, so that's why or one bar. But uh, yeah, it works pretty fast as far as loading pages goes. Let's go ahead and this is what a, the book description page looks like. You can also go into the other views to see what uh, reader reviews, editorial views, stuff like that, product details. So this is a free ebook that was just added today actually. So when you buy to buy an ebook, you already have your credit card information set up on the Barnes & Noble's website. You just push buy now, process your order. And then when you go back into your My Library the next time, you'll hit refresh or check for new content, and your um, books will show up there. So the best option probably, obviously, is going through the Browse section of your deal down here. It has, breaks it down into different sections for the eBooks. I'll show you in a second here. So it breaks down all, all the different categories here. And then there's subcategories within the categories. But there's, like again, like I said, there's no way to, um, any sorting options. There's no, you can't sort by price or anything like that, which is really annoying. You can just uh, scroll through the list how it is, one page at a time. Or you can look, you can look at the uh, covers here, I'll show you. It looks, it's probably the best way to uh, go through it actually. You can get the uh, covers this way, and it automatically turns the pages when you flip through them. That's the, this is kind of BNN's Call of Fame right here. With the whole LCD color things to be the covers. That's about it. And then reading Now button, it just takes you back to what you were reading last. And in the setting menu, you got a few things you can change. Wi-Fi, turn it on and off, and that's about it.